Life is 10% what happens and 90% how we respond. Originally written by Charles Swindle, an evangelical minister and educator, and stolen by countless others, and I suppose at this moment stolen by me as well, I find the quote valuable in the early phases of my response to things that happen to me. Sure, the first word that frequently comes to mind usually contains four letters. That's my emotional reaction to the issue. Comes from my judging that what happened doesn't work for me. Missed putt, cut off on the highway, reserve table isn't ready yet. The swindle concept is that these things that happen are, for the most part, out of my control. And the reactions or my feelings about these things are totally within my control. Although sometimes it doesn't really feel like it, does it? How easy is it to feel like a victim when the thing that happens doesn't appear to be in our best interest? Or costs us time, or money, or insults us? For help in figuring out how to execute a response which aligns with Swindle's philosophy, I've adopted some thoughts from Eckhart Tolle. Tolle offers three choices that can replace the emotionally driven auto-responding. First, I can engage in this issue enthusiastically. Seeing the exercise from a productive point of view, bypassing the F-bombs and resetting by figuring out what I can learn from this, or how this benefits somebody else, or how can I write a book about it, or make it a story for a future presentation. There are any number of possibilities. If I can't bring myself to this level of reorganizing my emotions, then perhaps I might decide, and it is a decision, to use the second tool. I can enjoy the issue passively. I can be the fly on the wall observing this interaction between me and fate and finding parts of it that hold value or commit the scene to memory to help me in the future. If the level of offense has me feeling totally victimized, then my final defense is simple acceptance. Let's face it, sometimes life throws snake eyes and there's just not anything that will make me whole. But that's life. It is what it is. And move on. I found that any other response that doesn't fit in one of these three categories can be counted on to exacerbate the string of four-letter words. And that simply does me no good. Just like happiness being a choice, so are our responses to things that happen to and around us. Keeping the three buttons I can push in mind, engaging enthusiastically, enjoying passively, or accepting, allows me to better manage that 90% of life. It's Kim, and this is another moment of clarity.